Hello everybody and welcome to this After Effects tutorial where I'm going to teach you how to teleport a light noise crawler. Here is what we are going to be creating. So let's get started. Um, first of all, it he jumps, and then it comes this purple smoke and teleports, and then he appears uh, a few seconds later. Okay, I'm going to drag this. Uh, first of all, I'm going to uh, create a new composition. Make it about in my in my case 20 seconds. Just going to call it teleport. Then I'm going to drag this. Uh, disappear footage, which in my case is the first footage. Here I'm walking, then I'm jumping. Okay, um, I also need a background which I have here so that when I disappear, the background is still there because now. It only gets black, but with the background, it's, it's look like this. Okay, um, the next thing I'm going to do is drag this appear footage down. Um, this is the footage where I am appearing from the teleport. Okay, and now I'm going, just going to make it look a, li um, a little bit better okay about here you can start to teleport and then you can appear about that's good about here so he teleports and appears okay maybe a little bit closer Teleports appear. Okay, that's looking good. Now for the smoke, um, I have this smoke footage, uh, which can be downloaded in the description. I'm going to drag this down and name this smoke one. Um, I can just call this footage one and footage. Just going to shut the sound off. Then I'm going to um, drag the smoke to when. Uh, first of all, I'm going to add uh, change the transfer mode to multiply. Then I'm going to find the spot where he's teleporting in the, the frame before he's gone. And I'm going to drag the smoke to that point and move it him. Hit R, maybe it's on rotation, like so. yeah that's good. Mm, looking pretty good. And then I need another smoke so I hit Control D to make smoke 2 for the footage 2. Drag this to the beginning uh, and then going to move it and rotate it maybe scale it a bit down like so So he's teleporting and appearing. Hmm. There I have it. Maybe I scale it up a bit more down. E5. Okay. Now I'm going to, uh, you can leave it here with this effect, but I like to make it a bit more realistic. So I'm going to add a new adjustment layer, call this 
AD1. Then I'm going to type turbo to get the turbulent displays. Drag it to the to the add. Add one. Then I'm going to shut the layer off for a moment. Um draw a mask around the um disappearing footage. Just draw a rough mask. And increase the feather to about forty. Now, if if I if I shut this off on and move the point a bit, you can see that it does a bit of turbulence, um, which makes the effect look a little bit bit better. And now I'm going to keyframe it. So at this point, before any of the smoke, it's going to be zero. Then I'm going to set a keyframe for the amount. Go two frames forward, set it to 50. Two frames again, set it to zero. So it looks like this. Maybe I should scale the smoke up a bit. 110. There you have it. Um, then I'm going to do the same on the other footage. So I hit Control D. Then I hit U and move. Actually, I'm just going to move the whole adjustment layer to the point where he's appearing. That should be. Yeah, that's correct. About. 25, then I'm going to move the mask to him and hit uh, a pen tool. I'm just going to move some of these points so it covers him. And then I'm also going to change the offset turbulence to, yeah, about here, there. Then I'm going to shorten the adjustment layer. Uh, also here. Yeah, looking good. Okay, now let's see. A quick ramp preview and it's looking good. Now, um, but we need some sound to make it uh, sound like that bump you hear with Nightcrawler's teleports. So I have this uh, bump sound, which also can be downloaded from the link uh, in the description. I'm just going to drag that down. Uh, yeah, about here. Call this. Bump one, duplicate it to get the bump two. That was Control D, by the way. Then I'm going to set the first bump with the first smoke about here. Then I'm going to drag it two frames backwards because if you see at the waveform, it's about here that the actual bump starts. Then I'm going to do the same with the other smoke. I'm going to set it to the to align it with the smoke two. Then one, two frames backwards. Now if we ramp preview, and voila, you have a nightcrawler teleportation effect. Um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, if you got any questions, please leave a comment, don't hesitate to ask, and goodbye.